Been over three weeks since Hurricane Irma passed through, but many communities in Tampa Bay still have storm debris sitting out by the road. The city of Tampa just put out this new map of the places they've been able to get to and clean up. It may show the places they've gotten to. It also shows the many neighborhoods they haven't gotten to. One of those neighborhoods still waiting is in West Tampa, and so is our reporter Adam Weiner. And Adam, tell us what's in store for those people there who are still waiting. I see you're standing in front of a pretty big pile there to get these things cleaned up. That's right. We got. That's right, James. We got mountainous storm debris here in West Tampa, and that's why we've got mounting frustrations. People in this community taking those frustrations to their elected leaders. That's why some of them are actually going to be taking up this issue in a meeting this morning. Hillsborough County's Board of Commissioners meeting today to talk about ways to expedite the cleanup process. Of course, the holdup, as we've been reporting, is that many contractors went to South Florida. They were they were getting paid more there, so of course that's where they went, but that left neighborhoods like here in West Tampa piled high with tree limbs. Well, Hillsborough County now says it could be, check this out, mid-November before all their debris is collected, and it could be a similar timeline right here in Tampa and in other parts across the Tampa Bay area. There is something you can do. Obviously, this is quite a pile, but if you can bag it up and put it into bundles, the city will take it. There are also several yard waste debris locations, three right here in Hillsborough County. They have opened those up for free. If you can haul it, they will definitely take that for free. And we've put those locations on our website, abcactionnews.com. I'm Adam Weiner, back to you. We solve a whole lot of headaches. Thanks, Adam.